In this video, I will be discussing the psychrometric process sensible cooling and its effect on various psychrometric properties. So let's start right away. Say we have an insulated chamber in which we have a cooling element like the evaporating coil of a refrigeration cycle. As air passes across it, the air undergoes sensible cooling. If the temperature of the coil is maintained lower than the dry bulb temperature of the air but not lower than the dew point temperature of air to prevent condensation. As there is no addition or rejection of moisture, the specific humidity remains constant during the drop in the dry bulb temperature. However, as the final point moves closer to the saturation line, the relative humidity of air increases. On the psychrometric chart, this process is represented by a horizontal line moving towards decreasing dry bulb temperature. Though, ideally, the dry bulb temperature of air should reach the coil surface temperature, but practically this is not observed as shown in the figure. This can be explained with the help of bypass factor. It gives us a measure of the extent to which air reaches the mean effective surface temperature of the coil. Mathematically, it can be calculated by this expression, which is same as the ratio between the temperature drop that could not be achieved to the maximum possible temperature drop. The heat removed by the coil is equal to the difference between the inlet and the outlet enthalpy of air. Here, CPM is the specific heat of humid air which is calculated by using this expression. Here CPA is the specific heat of dry air. W is the specific humidity. Though the value of specific heat of humid air varies with the specific humidity of air, in most cases it is considered to be equal to 1.022 kilojoule per kg Kelvin. Similarly, the heat removed per unit time can be calculated by multiplying the mass flow rate with the specific enthalpy change. Here are few expressions for the same. At the end, let us understand the effect of sensible cooling on different psychrometric properties. Here the process is represented by 1, 2. So let us see which psychrometric properties remain constant during sensible cooling. So the first one is specific humidity. Since there is no addition or rejection of moisture, the value of specific humidity remains constant. Same is the case with dew point temperature. Now let us see which psychrometric properties see a decrease in their value. So number one is dry bulb temperature. Due to the removal of heat by the cooling coil, the temperature of air drops. Next is specific enthalpy. With the removal of heat by the cooling coil, the specific enthalpy of air drops. Wet bulb temperature which lies on the same line also sees a drop in its value. The specific volume also sees a drop in its value as the air becomes cooler. The dew point temperature remains constant but there is a drop in the dry bulb temperature. Hence, the dew point depression also decreases. As the air moves closer to the saturation line, its moisture carrying capacity decreases. Hence, we observe a drop in the wet bulb depression. Now let us see which psychrometric property sees a rise in its value. Relative humidity of air increases as it moves closer to the saturation line. If you found this video helpful, please like it, share it and also comment below. Subscribe if you haven't already for future updates. Thank you for watching.